Titanfall 2 in 2024 is still an incredible game, well worth your time. On Steam, you're seeing about 3,000 peak concurrent players daily, usually in the evenings and the afternoons it's like 1,500. In contrast, last September, the game was sitting around an average of about 9,000 players, at least concurrent per day. Back in September is also when Respawn fixed the servers, so you can now play vanilla Titanfall 2 again on all platforms. It's very awesome, it's a lot of fun, but part of the reason the population has seen the decline that it has is because the community really thought we were going to get Titanfall 3 news at the Game Awards this December. And it's, you know, one of those things that I fell into. I thought we were going to get news. Why would Respawn go back, fix the game, start putting in these little clues like Nessies and fixing certain areas of the game that had been broken since launch? Ultimately, the Game Awards came, they left, and there was no Titanfall 3 announcement, and it's pretty much been radio silence ever since. Now this last week, we had EA laying off 5% of their workforce, which was 670 people. They are canceling projects left and right, and it does not look like hope for Titanfall 3 is there at all. EA is doubling down on their live service strategy, they're not pursuing new IP, and they're minimizing risks. In all of this information, we even learned they're canceling Respawn Entertainment's FBS Star Wars game, which was rumored to be a Mandalorian or Bounty Hunter game, which sounds incredible. But also, if you're seeing that being canceled, the likelihood of Respawn pursuing a Titanfall 3 is slim to none. But for you Titanfall fans, or if you haven't played Titanfall in the last few years, I'm here to say it's still going, it's still very playable on PC and on consoles, but I will echo what I've continued to talk about on the channel since the launch of this game. It is a phenomenal FPS well worth your money. Even if you only play a few hours of the multiplayer and it's not for you, the single player campaign in Titanfall 2 is simply incredible. You can get this game almost anywhere on sale. In fact, if you're an Xbox player, it's $4.50 right now on the Xbox store. I'll leave a link in the description below. So sit back, relax, enjoy the fast-paced, wonderful movement FPS shooter that is Titanfall 2 in 2024. Let's get this job done. We're back. Hello. <laughs> Not a bad way to start things off here. Oh, excellent play, Flashmaster. Welcome back, Titanfall 2. Uh, this game... What can you say about Titanfall 2 that we haven't been saying? It is 2024. Yes, it's still playable. This is the vanilla version of the game. No, we are not playing North Star right now. I'm back to my old ways. Jumping on uh, some monarchs here and there. No, I'm running Volt. I don't actually know what uh, Titan we've got running. So if you have remembered or followed the saga, probably dead there yeah it's fine basically this game had a huge revival last september the vanilla version of the game is now playable once again which is pretty rad oh ion interesting and we were seeing about 10k numbers uh of concurrent players that was like the average concurrent on steam back in september and since then we've just sort of been hemorrhaging a little bit oh man it's gonna take a while to get good at mouse again it's gonna take me a little bit of time Let's see how I'm going to handle this. Where is my fine gentleman? He's up there. Okay, so... Hello, 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 hello. Boop, back, gotcha. I think I can nuke him. I don't even think I have nuke jack on this bad boy, though. Okay, we got out just in time. No, no nuke jack. It's not going great, everybody. <laughs> the start of this match is not going amazing. <laughs> Oh, man, not the, the best Titan phase to go around. So everyone was super hyped thinking that we were going to get a Titanfall 3 announcement at the Game Awards. It really seemed like Respawn was leading up to something. Unfortunately, that something was a whole lot of nothing or just cross-promotion for some Apex events, which is like the story of our life, you know, as Titanfall fans and players. Nice shot, dude. It's with all these fresh accounts, man. These like real freshies? I'm sort of impressed there. Hello. You know, you do what you can and you play what you enjoy for as long as you can enjoy it, honestly. <laughs> Is the tone back there? I think the tone's still behind us, right? But no Titanfall 3. We got totally baited. Even Jeff at the Game Awards dropped like the, the weird emphasis when he mentioned the name Titanfall. All I can say is after the EA layoffs this last week, uh, or depending on when you're watching this video, EA laid off like 670 people, which is 5% of their workforce. And nice that probably is just gonna be the start of things. 
They canceled the Respawn Entertainment single player FPS game, which sounded like it was gonna be, the rumor was it was gonna be a bounty hunter or Mandalorian style game. And if that doesn't just sound like it prints money, I don't know what does. So if they're canceling projects like that, my hope for uh, Titanfall 3 is gone, you know? If it ain't live service, it sounds like EA isn't interested. That That definitely is like the way they're going. So I imagine we're gonna have them just double down hardcore on Apex and their live service games, which is what they talked about. So you can just roll over that barbed wire and nothing happens. Right, let's drop down here. Oh, sorry, bro. Little Marvin was getting desperate there. As long as I don't die jumping over the wall. Oh, we're good. This game is still amazing though. Like, there's nothing wrong with Apex. It's just not my my cup of tea. For whatever reason, the gameplay in Titanfall 2 is just so enjoyable for me. It wasn't crazy sticky for the wider player base. I understand that. And uh, we've covered that in a bunch of videos. There's been some good interviews coming out from Muhammad Alavi, people who had worked on Titanfall 2, people who had like worked a lot on Titanfall 3 before it was ultimately canceled. And we just learned that the play sessions for Apex, there was way more people showing up to those Friday night fights over at Respawn Entertainment than there were for, you know, Titanfall 3 stuff. So, hello, Mr. Monarch. Boop. I got you, bro. Is he gonna cloak? Let's see if we can see him. I'm trying to see. I feel like I saw him. Bye. Gosh, so fun. But whatever, you know, it is it is what it is. I'm still happy. I still think the world of this game. And hey, on PC, there may not be 10K players, but there's about 15K a day. And uh, Titanfall 2 has shown over the last few years that it will get another little boost, you know, a little shot in the arm. People will get excited about it. I'm going to fire my Lazor. My Lazor went extraordinarily well. It was great. And, you know, during those little periods of time, that's when you want to be playing. That's when it's the most fun. I'm just yellowing because we lost the match. I guess he bailed. All right, hop back in. If you have played Titanfall 2 at some point in time, would you let me know in the comments down below what platform you played for, how long you played the game for, do you still play the game? I'd be very interested to hear if you played and then you stopped playing the game, what your thoughts and reasoning were, you know? Is it, is Respawn accurate in the, uh, oh, come on, Dragoon. <laughs> I get like expended my double. No. What? No. <laughs> Left alone on the planet to die. I better just go spread democracy then. Yeah, good game. That was fun. GG. On to the next one. Oh, that was the worst game in the world. Thank goodness this game lets you just do hip fire. <laughs> I am curious if the next Halo game is going to be on Unreal Engine, how the mouse and keyboard support's going to feel. They managed to get uh, MNK to feel great on MCC, and that stuff is like, you know, blam engine based, right? Hello. Two out, now the rest. It is funny how much an engine can influence the feel of a game. Oh, excellent. Oh, I thought it was that guy. So that was a good fight. We got the dude in front of us, and then the person behind us is the one who took us out. My, my hope and speculation of more content for Titanfall 2, it's just not there anymore. I, I think those hopes are fully, fully dashed. If you want on the PC uh, a fun experience, I actually haven't checked the population since the vanilla version of Titanfall 2 has been fixed, but Northstar is a client built uh, by the community. Tons of super fun variants and game modes and boop. Woohoo! That was a, a good chunk of shield off right there. We'll take that. Um, it's got a gun game mode. It's got an improved, uh, let's see, are you gonna roll through that? Oh, my friend, you rolled through it, but it's a Monarch, so we're probably gonna die right here. If we can get through to laser core levels, that'll do, that'll do. One, two, three, and we're probably gonna die here, but that's fine with me. Oh, excellent shot, but we at least doomed two Titans in that play. North Star is a ton of fun, man. They've got gun game, they've got three Titan uh, attrition, They've got sticks and stones, one in a chamber, all that stuff. Um, I don't know if they've added anything new. Always my hope was, could they bring something like that to the vanilla Titanfall 2 experience? And then ultimately, right, it's a Source Engine game. Could we see the community creating like new maps for the title? Oh, 
That'd be the dream, dude. But ultimately, I don't think that's in the cards. I just love how much like movement tech is in this game. Even just coming back in the first few minutes, you're like, I've got so much to remember and to, to like remaster. Usually it's my, you know, my squad that's getting blown out. <laughs> it's kind of fun to be on the other side of the coin. This game is hard. Like the community who still plays Titanfall 2 are really good at the game. That's so satisfying just moving across the map though, you know? So sorry. Anybody else? No. I love this game. <laughs> Easily can recommend it 2024. Easily can say it is still a really good time. Is that a grunt? They're both grunts. Wow. That looked exactly like a pilot to me. I've had questions, by the way. Uh, people wondering about my colors. It's one of the colorblind options. I don't remember exactly which colorblind option it is. Excellent. Oh, no. The grunt almost got me. Oh, good fight, dude. And a level one. What is with all the freshies? Can someone explain it to me? Is this thing like newly added somewhere? Is there a sale going on? Is chat GPT playing Titanfall? It's finally learned. Open AI. That's really what Elon's lawsuit is about. He's mad that they trained it how to be like amazing pilots in Titanfall 2. You think, I wonder if we're going to get to the point where we've got... Uh, like AI bots for cheating and stuff that like can mimic. Well, let's see, we'll go for like a smush. Hopefully we can get a smush here. I don't want to get killed from the backside. Yeah, yeah, kind of a smush. No, no, <laughs> oh no, oh my gosh, the smoke. I literally started hijacking or jumping on the, uh, the opposing Titan there. Uh, good round, good round, that was fun. Sorry, good sir, sorry. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, I wonder if they're going to develop like AI that plays these games and that would be like the next level of, of cheats or something. Oh, and another. Oh man. Like I remember with StarCraft 2, Google has trained an AI how to play like SC2 and it's like won a bunch of matches. It's not that fun to watch because it can do like absurd APM and crazy tricks. But yeah, it's wild to see how much it's just like learned and improves. I, I don't think I've heard of an FPS one though. Anyway, Titanfall 2, it's great in 2024. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe for more, and we will see you again in the next video.